Hello campers and fellow road trippers. My name is Frank with Motorsportsland here in Salt Lake City, Utah. And we're here today to talk about the uh, Thor Chateau 25V that's uh, set up right behind me. We're gonna do a quick little video walkthrough for you to kind of show you some of the features and benefits of this uh, awesome little coach. Um, it is a uh, twin bed in the rear that could be filled in and made uh, into a king bed. We'll show you inside as we get in there. A uh, great floor plan. This is actually on the Chevy chassis. Uh, 7.3 liter, uh, 350 horsepower, and um, a lot of great benefits uh, to this. Um, just looking at the side right now, you can see there's just vast awning, uh, LED lighting up underneath the awning, <clears throat> outside entertainment. Um, you do have your, your 32 inch LED TV set up perfectly for a couple of seats out here to watch a game, watch your races, um, take a little bit of entertainment on, on the side here when you're camping on the road. Um, little baggage door underneath here, it uh, opens up chairs, uh, whatnot. I love the amount of baggage that we do have as we go towards the rear. Another little pocket baggage right here. And <clears throat> this is just one of the uh, sought after storage areas. So the 28Z in the Chateau has the same setup, but you do have three hatch doors to get into your storage. So you can put a lot of stuff back here. Um, they do not come with a spare tire, but there is a spot for a spare tire in the middle. And just uh, even in this cubby going inside, anywhere they can put your storage in here, they really do a, a fantastic job. Um, we're looking at, at uh, 8,000 pound uh, hitch weight. It is on the Chevy 3500. Has a seven way uh, plug for the hitch itself. And once again, just easy access to the back baggage door. Ladder for the roof. So a lot of people ask why they have ladders for the roofs. So we get up there, you get into some territory where you're you know, just brushing up against some tree branches and um, any other debris. You want to get up there and just check all your seals around your air conditioning, uh, around your vents, um, anything along that line, just to make sure you didn't do any damage to the roof or anything like that. So easy access and preventive maintenance. Get up there and check it out a couple times a year. Always will help. Backup camera is already set up inside that uh, brake light in the back there. So um, that will be on full time if you want it on. And they do have uh, the side cameras as well. So your indicator light cameras, um, as you, you flick your light left and right, those cameras will come up so you can see visibility on both sides. LED lights throughout, inside, outside, very well lit, very bright, big, big lights. <clears throat> we do have the 4,000 watt generator. Um, easy start, it's the actual one touch and it will go with the cycle three different times. It'll primer itself and start itself up. Uh, 4,000 watt will run your air conditioning, your microwave, TVs, all your outlets. Everything's already set and plumbed for it for electrical. Do you have your water tank fill? So water tank fill here, your 37, uh, 42 gallons of fresh water, 30 gray and uh, 33 black. You do have your Santa flush, so it's your black tank flush. You hook up this when you go dump your black water to a hose, usually when you dump, you have a hose spigot. So you hook that up and that's a sprayer port over the black tank that would actually just spray it and clean everything, let it bog, dump it out a couple of times, uh, cycle that two or three times and you're gonna have clear water coming out of the black tank is what you want. Unleaded fuel fill location. We have your hot and cold outside shower. And of course your plug-in is right here. You can see a little indicator light up here. When you're plugged in, you have power, this will come on. You unplug this, that'll shut off. You let you know for sure that you got shoreline power. City water connection. So if you are parked somewhere, this is your city water. You hook up, you don't have to use your pump. It's pressurized through there. We do recommend that you use a regulator. Water regulator will just regulate that pressure water coming into your coach. So it doesn't pop any kind of uh, seals or any kind of uh, connections. I love to see the, the slide on this, this uh, rack opinion system. Um, it's a two track on both sides. So we always recommend that you stabilize and they do have uh, two electric stabilizing jacks, which we walk right past, but they do have two stabilizing jacks at the rear back here. Have this stabilized and ready and level as possible before you bring your slides out. You bring that out square, you bring it back in square. Those track systems really keep everything just flushed up. Really nice for those motors not to work over time. You do have a little baggage door underneath here as well. Um, propane fill, you have a 30 gallon tank set up underneath here. So whenever you do fill that up, you pull right up to the propane area. They know what to do. They hook it up, bleed it out, set it up, fill it up for your trip. Um, here at Motorsports Line, when you do purchase with us, we do give you a gift certificate to the parts store. We fill up your propane tanks among 
um, a lot of other things which are not the big heavy fees that you pay at other locations. Um, looking inside, you do have the Primera, um, the leather seating instead of the uh, uh, material. Um, it's a Chevy Dash, it does have a little more uh, room in the front than the Fords that we've noticed. The doghouse is not as big. Getting in and out of the seats is a little easier um, on the Chevy chassis, not to take away from the Fords. Uh, Fords are set up just a little different, but uh, we do like the, the Chevy chassis as well. Coming around the front, you can just see this Roto um, casted front end here. So the way they put this together, they do a really fine job of fit and finish, um, trim out everything. We wanna make sure they do a water test. They do a high pressure front water test as well to make sure no seams or anything are leaking. Um, they do just a fantastic job at the factory. Their QC department does a great job. We're gonna uh, finish off this by going on inside and we'll show you a little bit of floor plan inside. Before we enter though, I just do wanna say 12 year structural warranty six-year laminate warranty. This is Asdell that they use on the outside. So that product, uh, I'd like to talk to you further when you come in about it. Um, great product for, for, for Thor um, to put their warranty of that caliber on this coach. Kind of shows you uh, how proud they are of this build. Just a, a fantastic uh, design, fantastic build. Come on in. Hi right, guys, just walking into the 25V uh, Thor Chateau. I'm gonna show you this uh, pretty cool concept. I, I love this idea. This is a really good engineering uh, setup. This is the bathroom. You do have a magnet hold that holds up. So this is your privacy door for the, the master, for the bedroom and for the bathroom. So coming in here, you will see that we have a corner shower. Coming into the shower itself, shower pan setup. You do have, and I'm about uh, 5'11". You can see where you have quite a bit of room still above into the actual, um, you know, to the, the ceiling part of it. Stainless steel sink, toilet setup, cabinet space here, cabinet space over here. Um, really nice little bathroom setup, easy to get in and out of. Uh, once we do as well, this, this door will actually open up as well. And I'll just show you on this side, but it'll magnet hold up here. So this becomes one big area for after you're showering, drying off, you have room in the hallway itself becomes part of the room of the bathroom. So really neat idea um, to get a, an idea of it, to come in and walk through it yourself. We'd love for you to come through and walk through it. Um, coming into this uh, front area, we'll start at the front TV. That'll swing out on an arm. So you can actually have access to watch this from realistically, even the bedroom if you wanted to. Um, the dinette here, this will be your, your front bed area. Uh, top bed area, which also becomes great storage area for a lot of folks. This cargo net actually clips up to these two seatbelt clasps. So if you do have a, a young child, don't want them to roll off on the floor in the middle of the night, or you do have storage up here, which you don't want that to sweep off. So as you pull this forward, close this off, this will be your section for your bed area or storage area. So as you're going up a steep hill, you're not gonna have stuff come off and have a yard sale. Um, you can see your front cockpit area, a nice big screen up front. You're gonna have your cameras that will come on. That will be your visual for the backup camera and your side cameras. So the side cameras are in the mirrors outside. And as soon as you indicate left or right, it's gonna show that whole pathway to your left or right side as you're switching lanes. Coming into your dinette, this is the um, little cam setup where you just kind of flip over, drop this down onto these little shelves right here. Your filler pieces come in. This makes a quick bed within seconds. Uh, it does have a uh, phone charge control. Just set your phone up right there. It's gonna charge your phone up, going into your kitchen. I like how these have the, it, it just really and it, it adds to your counter space. So having this, it's a dryer rack. You roll this up out of the way, you can do it halfway. You utilize your sink, stainless steel sink, I, I might add, which is really nice to clean, keep clean. Uh, three burner stove with an oven. So you know a lot of these motorhomes are not coming with ovens anymore. They're coming with the convection microwave. We like the fact that the oven's in here. That uh, definitely uh, appeases a lot of people. Um, going into the refrigerator, it is gas electric and separate freezer. Um, nice big deep freezer there as well. Your microwave, um, not uh, utilized a whole lot they say, but uh, people like to have that microwave warming up things here and there. 
Uh, really, it comes back to this back bedroom, which really entices a lot of people. So you do have the twin bed, and as far as the twin bed goes, you can actually utilize this section, fills in, and you got plenty of storage, which we do love. Um, this will fill into the piece here and make one big giant bed here, if you choose to do so. They do have a, uh, your vents in here. You have four air conditioning vents, uh, 15,000 BTU air conditioner, 30,000 BTU uh, furnace. Uh, really a great little coach when uh, people are looking at uh, a small 25 or under coach that uh, sleeps comfortably. Um, as myself, people do get older. They want to be able to get in and out and use the restroom throughout the evening. Great concept for that. Or if you want that big king bed, um, get the kiddos back here or pets back here with you. It definitely uh, comes into good use. So uh, come on down to Motorsportsland. Let's walk through this or any other coach you'd like to. We'd like to see you walk the lot with us. Have a great day. Let Motorsportsland guide you to the dream.